All data on a computer is represented by a string of zeros and ones. Given an example sequence here, we can think of it as a single number with in base two binary with the rightmost column here corresponding to the ones column and columns moving to the left increasing by powers of two. So we can take this number here and think of it as, this is a one byte, eight bits. We can think of it as zero times two to the seventh plus zero times two to the sixth plus one times two to the fifth plus one times two to the fourth plus one times two to the third, plus zero times two to the second, plus zero times two to the first, oh, sorry, one times two to the first, plus one times two to the zero, which is the same as 32 plus 16 plus eight plus two plus one, 48, 56, 58, 59. So we can write the same number either in base two or binary or base 10 or decimal. And to distinguish whether you're writing in binary or decimal, you can write the, the base as a subscript. So I'm gonna drop out these leading zeros. We can write this as one, 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 zero, one, one, base two, or 59 in base 10. So the advantage of using binary notation or base two notation here is that it more clearly relates to the values of the bits themselves. The drawback though is that we need a lot of numbers. We need eight to write out the value of a single byte. So one way to get around that is to group them together in groups of four. And instead of using only two values in each column, we're going to use up to 16 or two to the fourth values in each column. And this new notation is base 16, or we call it hexadecimal. So we've got base two, which is binary, base 10, which is decimal, and base 16, which is hexadecimal. or we usually say hex for short. Okay. So let's go ahead and write a table now of those 16 hex values. So here's the base 10, oops. Here's the base 10, here's the hex. We have zero, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And the hex is just the same, zero, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And continuing, we've got eight, nine, and 10, which takes two digits to represent in base 10. Here we're going to represent it in hex by the letter A. And then we've got 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, and over here we've got B, C, D, E, F. And we can take some of these and write them in binary notation. For instance, the nine here in binary would be one, zero, zero, one. We've got an eight, no fours, no twos, and a one. B here, we'd have this plus a two, so one, zero, one, one, and F here, we've got an eight, a four, a two, and a one, adding up to 15, or F. Okay. So this is our hexadecimal table, and if we take this number that we had before, we can see zero, zero, one, one is the same as three in hex, and one, zero, one, one over here is B, so this is three B in base 16. So now we can take what took us eight characters to write and write it in only two characters. So you should find yourself very comfortable moving back and forth between base two, base 10, and base 16.